Hey, what to do what the business is? It's your boy Black is at Rich Ralph from SC. And I just jumped out the porch. Dirty glove bastards. Let's go. I just signed a deal for a motherfucking ticket. I still got them bags in the city. Come and get it. We got Black Zach off the porch today, man. Welcome back, bro. How you feeling, yes, man? I'm feeling good, feeling good. Yeah, man. Uh, we got a lot to talk about today, man. Yeah, um, we got a lot we of shit to talk about. Yeah, we interviewed, interviewed you back in uh, January, but a lot has changed since then, man. Yeah. How would you describe how your 2019 has been so far? Oh, my shit been lit. Like, uh, uh, a big learning experience. Hmm. Like, learning more about the game, like, how I want to approach the game, like, the shit I want to do in it. Yeah. So, you know. I ain't really got to speak on the money, you know, we've been, we, we still getting a whole lot of money, so. Yeah. But it's just been like good, like <clears throat> just learning the game and going through different little steps. To yeah. Get the way we're going at. Yeah. yeah. Did you hit most of your goals this year? Yeah, I hit most of my goals for sure, but yeah. I got a lot more shit on my to-do list, so. Okay. Yeah, okay. we ain't content with that. So I got a lot more shit I'm, I'm about to do. Yeah. Yeah, we about to get to all that in a second, but uh, let, let's talk about, um, First, uh, how you partnered with uh, South Coast uh, Music Group. For um, sure. Why'd you choose to partner up with them? Because they from Carolina, for sure. And like yeah. I was rocking with them before like they got going on, what they got going on. So it's yeah. like, it, all, it made sense. Mm -hmm. If I was to partner with anybody else, I feel like it wouldn't have made sense. And it's like, they genuinely fuck with me. Yeah. It's like, it's really a real <laughs> family though. Yeah, it seemed like a perfect fit for you with them being from the Carolinas and, perfect. you know, you being from South Carolina. It just seemed like it was a match made in heaven, you know? Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't make sense to go anywhere else. And they, like, understand my vision. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they mm -hmm. understand what the fuck I'm really trying to do with this. <laughs> yeah, and they're really big about putting on for the Carolinas as exactly. well. You exactly. Know? Yeah. <clears throat> um, you, then, uh, you then hit the road with the baby for the Baby on Baby tour. Yeah. Um, what was that experience like for you? It was a good experience because like I learned, I learned a lot on the road with bro. Like as far as like how to perform, because hmm. like at first, like I was telling people when I was performing, I just was like walking back and forth across the stage. But yeah. when you do the hard ticket sales, yeah. it'd be an ass like teenagers huh. in the in the stands and shit in the audience. So they want you to throw water on them. <laughs> yeah, they, they want, want to be entertained. Like, yeah, they want to be entertained. They want you to crowd surf. You know, I ain't crowd surfing, but. <laughs> not yet. Shit, not yet. Not yet. You know what I'm saying? They might drop me or something like that. Yeah. But, like, they want you to do shit like that. So, like, he pulled me to the side. He really hmm. told me, like, man, you got to turn up, make them feel you. Still be you, but yeah. make them feel you. And ever since then, like, I've been carrying that on from uh. every, every time I perform. Yeah. Did yeah. you uh, stick around and like w watch his performances as well to yeah, like kind of catch on some tips and? Yeah, like he's so like he's so real. Like for one, like I did, I ran across a lot of artists like coming up like mm -hmm. throughout my whole journey of doing music. Yeah, but he was the first to take me on tour. Huh? Like he was the first to do that. And like when we'll come, we'll perform like me and Stunner perform, and then he'll bring both of us back out on his. Oh set. really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll perform like two times. Yeah. Throughout yeah. the whole night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. big to be brought out during his set as exactly. well. You know, exactly. Yeah. Uh huh. And um, then you you doubled back and hit the road again with Stunner. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me ask you, what are some things you dislike about being on the road, though? Um, it ain't too much that I don't dis that I dislike or whatever. Only thing I probably dislike is like just being away from like my kids and shit yeah. like that back at home. But <clears throat> they understand what yeah. I'm doing. Like they know who their daddy is. Like when we <laughs> be out together, they. They see people taking pictures. So, oh yeah, huh. yeah. They, especially my 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 oldest daughter. She get it. She old enough to really understand. So yeah, they be cool. That's about the only thing that I really don't like. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But other than that, it's cool. You adjusted to the to the road life though. Yeah, Hotels. Just, at first, like <laughs> at first, I'd be like, damn, I'd be missing. Like when I first started, I'd be missing. Like when I'm used to doing that home, missing bitches, missing all kind of <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like now, nah, it's like. Man, fuck that shit. Like, if this is what you really want to do, you got to do that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, what city has shown you the most love uh, since you've been on the road? Um, it'd be crazy spots like Denver, Colorado was Denver, lit. Denver, really? Huh. That shit was lit. Like, you will think everybody be laid back because they be so high up there. <laughs> yeah. but, like, they was lit. Like, Denver, New York, too. Like, New York, I heard okay. New York was a hard market, but, like, that market really be showing us love. Like huh. New York, I love Philadelphia. Yeah, okay. Um, and of course back at home, like Greenville. I just had a I just had a show in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Hmm. That shit was like lit. Hmm. Like they knew my shit word for word and it was packed out in there. Yeah. So yeah, I enjoyed that shit. 
Uh, now that you've really started to blow up, have you gotten any hate from your hometown? Man, they've been hating on me. They've like, been hating on you? Like, I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been on my shit before this music. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been, like, riding in the, the, the fly cars, dressing fly, fucking the bitches. Like, i just been <laughs> doing that. So it's like, it ain't nothing new. Yeah. But I just know how to maneuver myself around yeah. Columbia. So mm -hmm. it ain't really, that hate shit don't work. Yeah, yeah. That shit uh, don't work. Do you have any advice for a rapper that's, uh, you know, about to embark on a tour for the first time? Like some do's and don'ts? Go on tour for the first time? Yeah. Um, just be like prepared to step out, step out the box hmm. and make them people feel you like, even if they, ain't, they don't know you in the crowd, just like try to leave your presence some kind of way. Hmm. Like I got into the rhythm of just like, as soon as I come on stage, I go straight in front of the crowd. It'd be like rails or something. Like it'd be the stage and then rails right there. I jump out the stage and go straight to, huh. to the rail to make the people feel you because they, they really want to feel you and like yeah. there be nothing but girls in the front. They be grabbing on your <laughs> chains and shit, like all that. Like yeah. I love that type of shit. So just make make them feel you. Like try to leave your presence before you leave that. Just make them yeah. really feel you. Yeah, I got you. And uh, while you were on tour, you dropped uh, your really good project, uh, Trapping Like Zach. Yeah. Uh, which ended up hitting number six on Apple Music too. If you ain't trapping like Zach, you're whack. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> last time you were here, we talked about your journey. Like you've been rapping since 2010. Yeah, I've so, been rapping a long time. Yeah, so what did it feel like, to, you know, to finally hit, like, Apple Music, hit the number six on there, you know, after grinding for so long? Yeah, I feel like it was most definitely, like, a blessing or whatever, but I ain't satisfied with it. Like, hmm. I want to be, like, number one. I want that bitch to sit there huh. for a long But just to see the response I got from it, like, getting people to, to recognize that hard work I've been putting in so long, it was, yeah. it was like, well appreciated, but, yeah. it's like, I'm never content with anything. Like hmm. I want to go number one and, and and be stuck at number one. Hmm. I like, had the whole world knowing, yeah. like about this trap shit. Cause like that lane wide open, ain't oh, nobody yeah. in the game speaking that trap shit like me. Hmm. Nobody yeah. in the game. Hmm. Like cause they ain't attached to it the way I am. Like I really come from that. Yeah. Still, you know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you consider this your best project yet? Nah, <laughs> nah. I feel like my shit get better every time. Okay. And, and now that I got people paying attention, I feel like they gonna realize that like, for months from now, like for the people that just not getting on me, months from now they gonna be like, damn, yeah, he was. He, oh yeah. He, he always getting harder and harder. Like my next project gonna be crazy. Hmm. Like I promise you, that's gonna be the one to really like take me all the way through. Really? Okay. So. Okay. And uh, did you have a favorite song on that project, Trapping Like Zach? My favorite song. Um, Rich is rapping at SC. Huh. Why that one? Because it was like, I was popping my shit on it. It was yeah. personal. Like, I really felt that. <laughs> every every bar in that song, I felt like that. Hmm. And it was like, it, it wasn't no, it wasn't no flaw in that song. Like, everything I was popping, like, that shit real shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, you then signed with Interscope. For you, sure. You know, so uh, why did you choose to sign with a major then? Um. It wasn't even about the money. Like, I'm glad you asked me. A lot of people asked me, like, why I signed with Interscope. But it was, like, more for the access, hmm. like, add fuel to the fire. Hmm. Because even without a label, like, I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do to get oh, yeah. myself heard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it was, like, just having access to do different shit. Yeah. But it most definitely, it wasn't about the money. Like, it's just, like, add fuel to the fire all the way. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it's more about just getting you into those doors and giving you opportunities that you exactly. may not have had now, but probably would have took you a lot longer to get on your own. It would have took me way long. I had a damn near did everything I can do in the yeah. mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like having that partnership with them, it just adds fuel to that fire. Yeah. Like, that's all they do. <clears throat> yeah. Um, how excited are you about your, your future career coming up? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm real excited. I feel like I'm starting over. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm starting over because I done learned so much shit and like so much other shit happening behind closed doors. Like, mm -hmm. I swear, like, I can't wait to show the world like this, mm -hmm. the shit we got planned that we about to do. It's gonna, we're gonna go crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, back in January when we talked, uh, you mentioned, you know, how long of a journey this has been for you and yeah. how you felt like giving up lots of times, even back in January. Hell yeah. So how happy are you that you didn't give up, you know? I'm real happy that Cause I Because this year, up. everything really kind of, you know, paid off for you, you could yeah. say, you know? See, it's like always with me, like, like something bad that happened with me, like it'd be crazy. Like 
like before Arnold Taylor called me about the deal, about them wanting to sign me, I hadn't lost like a hundred thousand dollars. Oh shit. I was like, I was mad. Like, and this one I was on the road. Like, hmm. I mean, we was on, I think if I if I ain't mistaken, we was in Richmond, Richmond hmm. VA. I was just pissed. I was about to go back home. I was like, damn, I had to lost some, like, I had some money. Hmm. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna suck it up. I went, did the show. I was out my body. I wasn't even really in, in the shit. So Anna called me the next morning. I was like, in the scope, wanna sign you for such and such, such and such. I like, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. But I say that to say, like, every time when I be wanting to give up or something like crazy happen to me, God will come and bless me a whole nother way. Hmm. So it'd be like, I'd be like, I'm destined for this shit. Just, I just gotta stay, yeah. stay consistent and like give these people my story, to, like, cause my shit authentic. So yeah, it just I just gotta stay consistent, and stay hungry for, and stay focused like on what I want to do for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you know what your first project will be on Interscope? My first project? Yeah. Top of the year. Top of the year? Okay. Top of the year. Yeah. What well, can you tell us about this project? Can we we can tell them about the project? Carolina Narco. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Carolina, Been seeing that hashtag a lot. Listen, <laughs> Carolina Narco is going to go crazy. Hmm. Like, how, so like, how, how is this going to differ from your previous projects? It's going to be different because, like, I'm I'm giving them the, like, you know, I feel like the game changed. Like, when you, the people that know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. The game changed, so I'm going to be speaking on that. Hmm. And, like, I'm I'm doing it way better than I did the last, like, my last few projects. I get, like, my last few projects I make the music and just put them out hmm. this time we're doing a short film matter of fact oh, I need shit. I need your own um, warehouse <laughs> for this for this short film for we'll me. talk about that yeah. yeah we need to talk about that <laughs> yeah but anyways but yeah we're doing a short film with it called hmm. Carolina Narco okay um we just put together I got a lot of big features on there I got a feature last night that hmm. it, just, it was crazy like because like I used to this is like one of my favorite rappers and I ran into him in the, in the um, airport and like he he sent me the song back so fast like oh, shit. I ran into him like two days ago huh. two three days ago and he sent me back last night. Hmm. Can you this was like from my fucking favorite rapper. Huh. Yeah, so I got a lot of big features on them. <laughs> I just I, I'm ready for the world to hear that shit. Yeah, yeah. So, Can you reveal any of those features? Can you give us one? Damn. Nah, I'm gonna make them wait on that. Okay, okay. Uh, what about producer wise? You working with the same people? Yeah, most most definitely like most of the same people. But um, I've been really locked in with the uh, the kid that made the Old Town Road beat. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, like, I think his name is Young Keo. Keo, yeah. Keo. Mm -hmm. He is dope. Really? I'm talking about, like, me and him locked in. Hmm. Like, I wouldn't even expect him to, to <laughs> make that those kind of beats, but, like, we really not, like we really locked in. Like, he did most of the whole Carolina Narco. Really? Yeah, oh, I shit. recorded, like, all these songs in the past, like, two months, I'd say. If huh. that, hmm. I just lock in and just... Just record, 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 and like, hmm. cause like I don't really like holding old songs because I'd be like I don't really feel like that no more. Yeah, it'd be old. Like I mm -hmm. like that when I'm about to drop a project, that's when I go and record, go crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you mentioned you think this project will be the one that really breaks you out, though, right? I know that's gonna be the one that really takes hmm. me through the roof, <clears throat> cause I've been up like, yeah. I'm talking about as far as like they're gonna really respect me as a rapper. Like everybody, they know like when it comes to that other shit, like they know, every they know what's up with me when it comes to money and shit like that. Yeah. Ain't no damn near no rapper in the game really fucking with me when it comes to being an up and coming artist. How I'm coming in in the game, yeah. But I'm talking about like really respecting me as a rapper. Mm -hmm. Like I'm about to really make him respect me as a rapper. Yeah. So top of the year, we can expect the uh, Carolina the Narco, huh? Top of the year. Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, saw you were up in uh, New York City recently, and you had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with uh, Gary V. That shit was so motivational. I was going to ask, what was that meeting about? What what type of advice did he give you? Like, what'd you take away from that meeting, basically? I got to um, run no run no ends up some more. Huh? Yeah, that's all I took from. But it's like he he really put me on game about like so different social medias, like TikTok. He was okay. like, telling me like TikTok is a big platform. Yeah. Stuff like that, and just really like. Saying if I ever want to like, like get into, like he got connections with Gatorade, all kind of like hmm. all kind of little shit like that. Like if I ever wanted to get into that, just being a real entrepreneur. Yeah. Because like I was just telling him my story. Like I was telling him like, yeah, I do music. Like I'm an artist and shit. But like my my mind is way bigger than that. Like I really want to be, like a CEO. Hmm. Like I was calling myself a CEO before I even really knew what that 
that shit meant, <laughs> like for real, for real. But I just knew it was like a top position. Yeah. So I was just telling him I want to do different shit, like from from um fashion to films. Yeah. To like restaurants back at home, like everything. Like that's just how I am. Cause yeah. My, my mind just be all over the place when it comes to that. And when, once I put my mind to something, I'll make it happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he walked out of that meeting pretty motivated, huh? Man, motivated. And just seeing how many people like he had in his office working for him. Huh. Like, it, if I am mistaken, I think it was like over 200 people, 100, 200 really? people like in the Shoot. office. Like, that's boss shit. Yeah. That's gangster. Yeah, yeah. For so sure. Have a whole team behind you, you know? Exactly. <laughs> all right. Uh, a couple months ago, you posted on IG about uh, paying for a feature. And the guest not promoting the the song. Exactly. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Man, I don't pay none of these rappers no feature. Hmm. Not even you. Not even me if I ain't fucking with you. Huh. I look in the camera and say that like, don't like if you, man, you got to really like I I say put that money to your dancer. Hmm. I done did that shit with so many people like. Yeah. I gave out buku money hmm. to Danny every rapper you can think of. Hmm. But shit, I guess it's a competition. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, but it's like some people I, I I done met through the features and shit, but I really a click with. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it can go both ways, but it's like <laughs> just look at it as an investment. Don't ex but don't expect nothing out the artist who you giving that money to. Yeah. Except for them, the most, feature, basically. Exactly. Because yeah. most of them just looking at that shit like a chick. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. just, just a quick come up like for them. And I feel like you can take that same money and invest that shit into yourself. Yeah. Nah, that's solid advice right there. Exactly. Yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about the Carolinas. Um, they We talked about this in January, but uh, they continue to blow up this year. Uh, yeah. What's it been like to be at the forefront of that uh, Carolina movement? It been good, like, to get that recognition because I feel like I've been at the forefront, but I've been, like, the underdog so long. Yep. Like, I feel like I started a lot of ways for a lot of shit in Carolina, like, from, from jury to, yes. like, how to – Everything from how you need to just carry yourself, period, like from the cars to the everything. So it feel good, like to really be up there with Baby and Stunner Pro Vegas, yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like just as Carolina as a whole, because I used to feel like it was Carolina versus everybody. Yeah. And now it's like it's cool to be from Carolina. Mm -hmm. You know what yep. I'm saying? Most times when you say somebody you from Carolina, it'll be like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, nah, you don't got to act like you from nowhere else. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's what we plan to do. Yeah, you definitely help put some respect on the, the Carolina exactly. name, man. Yeah, put some respect on Carolina. <laughs> now, how, how how does the Carolinas keep this momentum and not fizzle out like uh, some of these other scenes do? Um, We're just going to stay consistent. Okay. Like, we're just going to stay in y'all face. Just yeah. being creative, thinking strategic. You know what I'm saying? Like, just... I know, especially me, like I'm the lane I'm in is wide open and ain't nobody gonna pop it like me. Hmm. Ain't nobody gonna talk about that trap shit like me. Yeah. And like, I feel like the trap shit ain't gonna never die. Yeah. Like, I ain't trying to get into no other way. I ain't trying to get into like the dancing shit. <laughs> I ain't trying to get into the singing. I know it's a million motherfuckers around the world that's still in them dope hoes, that's still in the trap, that, that know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I ain't making music for them. The people that don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. But if you rock with it, I appreciate you. Yeah. But I make that shit for the motherfuckers that really know what I'm talking about. Hmm. If you don't know what I'm talking about, skip it. Go on to something else. <laughs> yeah, go, it's not for you. you yeah. Go do the war or whatever you're going to do. <laughs> so. Yeah. And uh, you've been promoting this uh, young rapper from uh, North Carolina, uh, Lil Vino? Vino. Vino. Yeah, from South Carolina. Vino. Okay. What can you tell us about him? Is that your artist or is it just someone you kind of helping out or talk yeah. to us? Like, I'm so I'm so real with it. Like I ain't even got Vino on like no real paperwork. Okay. But he one thousand. Hmm. So once we get to that point, he ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> like my that's like my little brother. Okay. But he he crazy. Hmm. And you know I still got dirty money sending. He ain't on no paperwork, but what whatever he want to do, we behind that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So them two niggas right there, like I love them to death. Hmm. Like so, it's deeper than just making a song with them. Yeah. It's like whatever the fuck they want to do, I'm gonna be behind it. Yeah. No matter how mad I may get sometimes, like we go at it, especially me and Sunny, like hmm. we'll go at it and then I'll be it'll be my fault sometimes and then it might be his fault sometimes, <laughs> but we'll get over that shit. Yeah. And uh yeah. how'd you discover Vino? Because I think he's Vino, 15, right? Vino 18. 18, okay, okay. He bad. just turned 18. But I discovered Vino from um 
like the producer I be working with named Nico. Okay, yeah. He, Shout out to Nico. He posted him, <clears throat> and I just seen Vino. It's like he stood out. It's like he, like this nigga is a fucking star. Yeah. He stood out like he ain't had nothing, but he carried himself like he know hmm. he that nigga. Hmm. So, like I um I posted his music or something like that. Yeah. On my shit, just reposted or something. Mm -hmm. So he reached out to um, Nico and was like, tell Zach, like, I want to fuck with him. I signed him. Huh. I was like, damn. Hmm. Like, I don't know nothing about too much signing niggas. Yeah. Like, I just help niggas, like, whatever you want to do. But, but my first, he once, he once he reached out to Nico, we exchanged numbers. Like, my first time meeting Vino, I, I gave him a chain and oh, I yeah? put $3,000 in his pocket. Huh. Like, so just give him some money, just some, like, go shop or something. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, off top, like, and then... I say like a few days after that, we shot the freaky the freaky dancer. Okay. Um, yeah. And he was just, I wish he was there, like to just peep his vibe. Like he just go crazy. Like if he was in here right now, he gonna make you feel his presence. Hmm. You turn that camera on, he gonna make you feel him. Like hmm. he don't give a fuck like about none of that shit. He, you gonna you gonna feel him. Yeah. And like he got that star power, <laughs> and his music is hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that nigga music is so cold. Like he he like a. He like a um, NBA young boy, but in his own way. Uh -huh. But he just he he make you feel that pain, and you know he come from that because yeah, he he had a, a lot of illegal charges and shit like mm -hmm. um, charges he was going through, but we got it taken care of for him. But it's like everything he rapping, he really lived. Him mm -hmm. and Sonny, everything they rapping, they really lived. So I just feel like it hit different. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could be the hardest motherfucking rapper. Like I be hearing all these niggas in South Carolina I'd be like, oh, this the hardest young nigga. I feel like the niggas I got the hardest young niggas because they telling the truth. Hmm. I don't give a fuck how good you can put them words together. It just hit different when you know they telling the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It hit way different. So is that what's next for you, developing a new artist? Of course, because like I say, I was calling myself a CEO before I knew yeah. what it meant. Mm -hmm. But I done got some, I know what it mean now. <laughs> so, and I'm the type like, I don't like going to the club and shit like that. And I ain't no social person. Like, hmm. I don't like talking to people too much. Like, you got we got good vibes together, so it's just different. But yeah. it's like I don't really, and that's all the shit you need to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. And I like handling. I like being the one in the in the background, making the plays, putting the money up, like building the connections and shit like that. Yeah, and let the young niggas shine because that's what I like to do. Like, uh -huh. <clears throat> like for the longest, like that's what I just I just like to see people come up. Yeah, I like to see people like come from nothing to, to something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Last time we talked, you 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 talked to um about giving back and how much you enjoyed giving back and mm -hmm. how giving back is how you catch your blessings too. Of course. So yeah, so that all makes sense. And um, you know, the holidays are coming up. What do you have planned to, to give back for the holiday season? Um, we're going to, we're going to eight different stores hmm. in Carolina, like four to eight different stores, but we're going to find like eight people in each store and we're just going to pay for their they food. Oh wow. For Thanksgiving, like the whole bag. Huh. Like we're just going to pay for their food. And then we gonna um, came up with some some hard shit last night, a trap slay. Uh, huh. um, yeah, so we gonna be on some some trap <laughs> shit, just pulling up in all the hood, just giving away goddamn huh. free toys and, and shit for the kids and shit like that. Yeah. And you know I do the um for uh, Christmas every year, like we've been this like like our fourth year, just giving bites to the mm -hmm. to the hood, like doing shit like that. Yeah. I be big on shit like that because. I ain't never had nobody do that in my neighborhood. Yeah. Excuse me. Coming up, like, there wasn't never nobody I can remember. Like, I can be like, damn, when I was little, he gave me bikes and toys yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I just like doing shit like that to really, like, because kids love that. Like, that make the kids really love you. And I really do it out of kindness of my heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Is this going to be in Colombia or you going to? Colombia. But the, the trap slay, we're going to go all around the world with that. We gonna really? Go to okay. Atlanta. All right. On DC. Huh. Yeah, we're going that's going to be there. hard right there. That's going to be dope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll keep an eye out for that for sure. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Let me ask you, how did the streets prepare you for the music industry? Shit. I feel like I apply like the streets prepare me to the music in one way. Like I apply like the same how I used to want to flip that money in the streets. Mm -hmm. Like I'd be the same way when it comes to the music. I go just as hard. Hmm. When it comes to that, yeah. But I can't apply the same rules to the streets like how I mean to to the industry how I do with the streets, yeah. Because, like for instance, like man, I've been going back and forth with producers and stuff about certain shit. I'd be like, damn. 
and you'll be wanting to handle it a certain way. Like, come yeah. on, bro, I thought we was dogs. Like, yeah. you'll be wanting to smack the hell out of me, <laughs> but you can't handle it like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I stay out of that shit. I'd be like, don't even put me in them group messages. Huh. Let, let them handle that shit. <clears throat> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They handle all that shit. But as far as like, the, that's the only way like I really can apply like what I learned from the streets to, to the industry. It's just how I go about like trying to be heard and seen and mm -hmm. shit like that. But I can't handle the industry the way I would handle shit in the street. Yeah. Because if I know you're trying to get over or, or act like a bitch on certain shit, like we're handling it a whole different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that in the industry because yeah. you just yeah. can't. Politics, contracts, it's too much politics, everything. It's yeah. Contracts, all kind of shit. So you just got to let that shit go. Yeah. Yeah. Let the, uh, the suit and tie bit. Yeah. And shit. Let, <laughs> let the team that. handle it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, how happy are you that you made it out of the streets? I'm real happy. Like, because I knew. There's so many people back at home, like, some was rooting for me and some was hmm. like saying that shit ain't gonna happen. Probably still now, hmm. but it's like just showing people that that shit can happen. Yeah. Like, I'm like, if somebody really been following my journey, I'm living, I'm a living testimony of like, it just staying down. You can make that shit happen. Yeah. I told you I just got a feature for free from, from my favorite fucking rapper. <laughs> Man, that shit come with staying down. Like, yeah really staying down, bro, like, I come from, like, really just, <laughs> like, if you were following my journey, you know what's up. Yeah. Like, I stayed down for this shit for the longest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, you know, the, the ultimate goal is always to get out of the streets, you know? Of course. It's not to stay in it. Yeah. Which is weird, because a lot of rappers, they yeah. get into the rap game and then want to jump try, into the streets. Nah, that's backwards. <laughs> it's I beyond tell backwards. Quick, like, give me them plaques. Yeah. You can have all the other shit. Yeah, Let me get me out of plaques this. and the number ones and shit. <laughs> No, that's what we're doing it for, for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what's one thing you know now that you wish you knew five years ago? Like, just how to really properly work the internet and work mm. the business. Okay. Like, I dropped so much so much music the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like my journey felt like it was long, but I really don't. I really don't regret nothing because all it was a learning experience. But only thing what I learned, what I done learned so far is like only thing I wish I would have did different is like really just coming up with a, a plan before I dropped all this music. Okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying, but I ain't running out of gas. I got way more shit to talk about. So <laughs> they just gonna have to go back and catch up on that music. Yeah. But it's just that's the only thing I wish I would have just did it right and just and I wish I wouldn't have spent all my money with these fucking rappers. Huh. Hmm. Don't spend your money with rappers. How much money would you say you spent on features? On features? Just on features, yeah. Just on features. Well, if you want to include videos, we shot with them and all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We we'll say about 150, a little oh, slight, 150, uh -huh. 200, some slight. Yeah. Mean mm, nothing. Because I was just looking at it like, huh? I yeah. want to, fuck you, you had that shit. But now it's like, it is what it is. You're gonna, you're gonna, if you come back <laughs> around, you see I'm still going. Yeah. I don't really need them no more. And huh. I ain't gonna need them no more then. Yeah. Like they may need you now. Exactly. You may that's be able to hit them with an invoice. My, especially when I get to what the fuck I'm gonna do. Yeah. That's why I tell rappers, like, I, I'm I keep it so real with it. Like, if I fuck with you, I'm gonna really fuck with you. Hmm. Even motherfuckers that done got featured from me in the past, I still I make sure I repost that shit and shit like hmm. that. I just do that because I know how I was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that'll make like people really gravitate to you more. Like, oh, he a real nigga. Yeah. All it take, it be simple, simple shit like that. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. reposting somebody shit. Like, yep. them, them niggas spent that hard on money, which like, when people used to come pay me, it'd be five, tens, and 20. <laughs> so you know what they doing. Like, them people spend their whole, yeah. they, they hard on money. So it's mm -hmm. like, you, you, you never know how, how far a re, repost will go. Yeah. And it doesn't cost anything. That shit don't cost nothing. <laughs> Larry, like, two minutes you, of your time. Yeah. Like, that shit ain't gonna hurt you. Yeah. All right. All right. What's some of your goals for 2020, Zach? Um, I really want to keep doing this film, this film shit. I want to go number one, get Grammys, hmm. all kind of shit, just to show, just to show like my core fan base that this shit can happen. Hmm. Put South Carolina on the map, cause we got way more talent home. Like, get into fashion, just get on my entrepreneur huh. shit. I got you. Yeah, and I then it's like get get Vino and Sunny and all them through the door too. Yeah, so I can sit back. Like pee, you know what I'm saying? My huh. pee them and just, you know, watch my young niggas eat. Yep, no, that's real. All right, Zach, anything else you want to add? Um, Caroline knocker on the way. 
the album, Caroline Knocko, the short film on the way. And uh, SMG, DM me what's cracking. So what does Dirty Glove Basket mean to you? Um, y'all family. Like, y'all been supporting me since day one. Hmm. Like, anytime I drop an album, I mean, or drop a video, anything, yeah. y'all will repost it. Mm -hmm. Show love to me, like y'all been showing love. You, yeah. Dre, everybody, yeah. like just been showing love to me since day one. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. Just signed a deal for a motherfucking ticket. I still got them bags in the city. Come and get it. Catch me in the kitchen cooking dope till I'm dead.